Today we're going to talk about queries. So in your smart program at the top you just click queries and you save view queries. This is where you're going to find all your queries that you store and save. At the moment I have created my own folder structure as to where to add my queries. But in your program you will have to create this folder structure if you would want like it or you save it under this relevant area of where you're going to save the queries. So First off, if you ever do not know which type of query to build and you don't have anybody to help you, use the Query Wizard. It is a very nice tool and very powerful tool to give you extra information about the different types of queries, why you would need to run them and when you should run them. Otherwise, you can go to New Query and all your data queries will be in here all your patrol queries will be here and every other type over here so for the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an example patrol summary query as soon as I click on the patrol summary query I have the patrol filters potentially on the left, right hand side so I want to know how many how many snares were found in each month of the year and that were confiscated. So in my illegal activities I found poaching and I want to count the snares. So if I run this query it will come up with a table that in 2018 in the month of February I have so many snares. March, April. Okay. So if you want to add some extra things you can move specific values between the group by option the row headers as well as to the column headers so if you would like to know which patrol member in the month of in which month in which year so in this case there's only one patrol member how many how many did this man how many snares did this man capture in 2018 in the different months